What is going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new 4K revisiting and review courtesy of Sandwich on Films and Universal Pictures for sending me a copy of Halloween 2018. I gotta establish 2018 because I don't know why they just didn't say Halloween 2 or something like that because since they retconned the whole franchise when it comes out January 15th which is tomorrow and I'm really excited about to talk about this movie because I had a blast watching this in theaters and personally I haven't seen it since the theaters so getting to sit down with my family make them watch this film with me and kind of have my own revisiting and review with the 4k and the blu-ray version both coming in this feature and I, I gotta say I love the slip cover on here I love just the mask and the detail and just it looks beautiful under here too but it's more gorgeous on the slip cover and if you haven't seen the steelbook for Best Buy that thing even looks cool too but I am gonna stick with this I like the slip cover a little bit more but again we're talking about Halloween this is my revisiting does it hold up from that theater experience which I have to say yes and no I gave the film like an A minus. I had a blast with the film in theaters. I thought it was a ton of fun and I still think it is a ton of fun. It's still that slasher type of horror film. I've never been scared of these, but I still think it holds the same tone as the original one does and carries it over perfectly. I think David Gordon Green, Danny McBride made a very solid script that had one too many funny moments that took away from the tension, but were still essential and kept with that horror vibe that John Carpenter perfectly contained and had had directed into the original Halloween. I think that still is established within this version of the movie. What I can say for sure is my family is not the biggest horror fans and maybe that's like the wrong people I watched it with but in the theaters everyone was screaming everyone was laughing everyone was ooing and awing always a theater experience is going to be the main way to watch a movie that is how I've always thought of it if you want to see a film you have to see it in theaters because it's going to be very different than watching it at home and that's why I wish a lot more of Netflix films were in theaters but that's a different discussion a different video for a different time I'm talking about Halloween on 4k and I think it still is worth picking up on 4k because the visual quality the audio it's all great it's all there the score is great if you have a nice sound system in your house which my dad does have downstairs it sounds great when the score starts going through it gets you on that oh god where is this gonna go and that one take shot that you saw earlier in the trailers that if you haven't seen the film yet that one take shot is great and the subtle score that Carpenter pertained into this film was excellent but again the theater experience was definitely the better way to watch this film because watching it at home the laughs weren't all there. I still chuckled and had fun with it, but my family necessarily didn't laugh as much. They had fun with it. They thought it was fine and okay, but for me, I still had a blast with it. And if I were to give a, the film a grade now, coming off that A minus, probably bump it down to a B minus, because some of the comedic moments don't actually work for me. Uh, sitting at home with people who didn't, and usually when I'm in an audience, I will laugh more because the audience is laughing more. And one of the scenes in particular here is the peanut butter and jelly scene. If you've seen the film, you know what I'm talking about, but it didn't need to be in there at like at all and there's a couple scenes in particular that you could have snipped out and made the runtime a little bit more smoother in fact and watching it on a second repeat i can definitely see that again i'd still give this film like a b plus this is a solid fun slasher flick that ignites the halloween franchise into what i wanted it to be all these many years so many damn sequels so many reboots that have never hit that pinnacle of what i wanted halloween to be it has great visuals again a great audio it looks beautiful in 4k and it really is just a great film to kind of go inside with the original Halloween so now you have a great double feature right there for special features though for my special features junkies there's not that much in honesty none of them really grabbed my attention like how some special features sometimes I'm like oh there's that one now in here there's really not that one a lot of these feels like YouTube clips that you can just look up and enjoy if you guys are new here before I get to my final thoughts make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and again please check out sandwich on films also down below for plays and advanced movie screenings Halloween on 4k it's definitely worth picking out if you're a fan of the Halloween franchise, this is your cup of tea. If you're a fan of slashers and thrillers, this is your cup of tea. And again, if you're just a fan of the horror genre, this is your cup of tea. It's a fun time to sit down, grab a bunch of your buddies, have a drinking game, get some food, get some pizza, and just have fun watching people die by Michael Myers and having Jamie Lee Curtis come back in to kick some ass as Laurie Strode and show that she really is now Sarah Connor. That is my revisiting and review of Halloween on 4K. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this film. Did you guys like it? Did you hate it? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. Again, hit up Sandwich on Films, hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Stay classy.